Hey you guys, welcome back and we're going to continue with this Cali Index series where I'm going to try and review all the tools that are installing Kali Linux. And the first round of videos is going to be looking at tools in the information gathering classification. Now, our previous video, we looked at DNS and NUM, which pretty much stands for enumeration, I assume. Now, in this video, we're going to look at the DNS recon tool which is pretty much the same thing as the previous tool which is DNS analysis and just to recap from the previous video we were looking for information in regards to DNS information or data now what is DNS well DNS is a domain name system which pretty much acts like a directory for devices and the IP addresses that are attached to them. So for example, if you want to go onto google.com or facebook.com, instagram.com, those addresses or that host name is attached to an IP address. So in other words, it's pretty much like an address book where you have all these names of your contacts, right? And your contacts have phone numbers. So if you click on a contact name, it's pretty much going to dial that phone number for you. So that is the same thing or the same process as it works in a network environment or in this case for DNS. And also in the previous video I mentioned about information gathering and how important it is for you to gather as much information about the victim or the target because the more you know about your target the more things you'll be able to do analysis and probe certain areas for exploitability and maybe come up with an attack vector that works for you so it's really important to gather as much information that being said let's go over to our Kali Linux and if you don't have it up please power it up and we're going to go into the menu select the 01 which is the information gathering and then over to your right you're going to have the DNS analysis and go ahead and expand that and what you're going to do next here is click on DNS recon and again, we're doing some DNS analysis. So that means that every tool within this category is pretty much going to do the same thing. Many of you are going to have a preference or many of you are going to have other scripts that also do this type of information gathering. But nevertheless, I think it's a good idea to be familiar with each of these tools just to see what tool suits you better. So in this case, we're going to explore DNS Recon, and once you click on it, you're going to have some information as to how to use this script or this tool, and it looks to be written in Python, which is really cool. What you want to do here when you want to explore a tool or a script in Kali Linux, you want to look at the optional arguments, which is really important. For example, we have certain arguments like the dash H if you want to pull up the help menu, and if you continue on, you're going to see other arguments like dash D for the domain, which obviously that we're going to use. We also have the dash N, dash R, dash capital D for including a dictionary or a file if you want to brute force subdomains, which is also a really good idea. We also have some other options here, which I'm going to skip some of these, but if you're interested in learning more about this tool, I highly suggest that you go over each of these arguments and just to see which of these suits you better for your type of information gathering. Now, for this video, I'm going to do the dash D and I'm also going to include the dash G because I'm going to perform a Google enumeration which I like to export the results to a file so in this case I like to export all the data that I'm going to gather into a CSV file so I'm going to use the argument dash C followed by the CSV which in this case it's probably going to be the name of the file so once you have picked all the arguments that you're going to include in your command and all you have to do here is pretty much go to the terminal and type in the DNS recon space D. Remember that space D is going to require a domain of your choice to which one you're going to gather information from. I'm also going to include the dash G, which I also mentioned that I'm going to use the Google enumeration. 
Now, lastly, I'm going to include the dash C, which I'm going to output these results to a CSV file. And like I said, once you're done, all you need to do here is hit enter. And once you do, you're going to see that there's something going on with the script and the tool and is currently going through name servers, is going to go through MX records, A records, and is going to try to enumerate all types of information when it comes to DNS on behalf of Instagram.com, which is the domain that I picked. And again, right now, it's currently performing a Google search enumeration. And all of this data, all of this information is going to be exported to an a CSV file for future records, or if you want to check out the results later on, then you can come back and check out that CSV file. And another thing to keep in mind is that in order to gather the right results and to export all this information, make sure you use the sudo before the DNS recon script or the command. That way you have the appropriate permissions to write to a file, which is really important. Just remember that to use the sudo command to successfully execute this tool and at this point you shouldn't have any problems but I ran into a problem because I wasn't using sudo at this point and I couldn't write the results to a CSV file in the current directory so just remember that and that is it for today's video you guys I hope you guys like this video I hope you continue to check back for more future videos on this Kali Linux series which I'm going to try to review all the tools let you know what you can do what is the purpose if you don't want to miss these future videos, I highly suggest that you should smack that bell and drop a like. I would really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe and don't change it. Stay tuned and I'll be right back. Thank you.